Hello, uh, welcome to a brief introduction to phonetics. All uh, degree students have a little bit of phonetics to study and everyone seems to wonder what this is about because they are not familiar with it. Some of you might have uh, had a little bit of phonetics in school and it, it, you already know but most of our students seems to uh, find phonetics a little mysterious. Well, I just want to tell you that phonetics is not uh, difficult as we think it is. It is very important. So, if you work on it systematically, it will be very useful for you and it will be very easy for you to learn as well. So, let me tell you what is phonetics. Phonetics is the study of sounds and here it is a study of English sounds because we are, we are looking at the study of English. And why do we have to study the sounds of English? It's because we speak using sounds and English is a foreign language and we do not have a natural familiarity with it and therefore we need to practice uh, English sounds a bit. That is the logic behind studying phonetics. And how do we do it? Uh, English has only 26 letters as we know A, B, C, D and no language can function with only 26 sounds. Naturally, you, you can imagine that you, you, you need a lot more sounds than that. For example, we say there is there are only five vowels in English, but actually there are 20 vowel sounds in English uh, when we try to speak English. The five vowels that we speak of A, E, I, O, U are only the, the letters indicating the vowels. So in phonetics, what we do is we look at all the sounds in English and uh, uh, going beyond the letters of English, we look at the sounds of English and how do we study that? We study that by giving individual symbols for all the uh, sounds that we have to study. So English has say 44 sounds. Look at the chart here and you can see that there are uh, many, many strange symbols. Uh, well, it will take you a while, but you will soon master it. Hmm? And uh, it needs, if you work systematically, uh, we can easily learn these sounds you need to learn these uh, symbols that are there, each stand for a separate uh, sound in English and uh, we can proceed with learning. In phonetics, you will be studying these symbols, you will be studying the organs of speech, the mouth, uh, this, the, uh, the air coming out of the lungs and coming out of the mouth through the nose, all those things you will be studying, the speech organs involved. You will be studying which are the vowels in English, you will be studying which are the, which are the consonants in English and how these come together and other features of uh, speech that, uh, like stress for example, accent, all those things you will be studying. And uh, you can uh, you make use of uh, the playlist that I have given under the description or to this video which will take you to individual uh, videos on these aspects and look at them from the order in which the videos are arranged. Look at the first video first and second and those for those who have difficulty we have also given a few videos in Malayalam so that you will understand better. So I wish you all the best with your phonetics and make use of the videos and you can also make use of uh, online material, textbooks, etc. and uh, go ahead with your studies. I'm, I can assure you that learning phonetics will fetch you very good marks uh, for the exams but also it will uh, it'll much improve your command over English speech and that is what we are all looking for.